We found our favorite cookie, and it just so happens to be Milk's favorite cookie as well. Welcome to part one of us trying every Oreo's flavor. Ooh. Welcome to Bros Review. There's a lot of things that are universal with humans, like music, and I think cookies as well. Cookies are really good. And Oreos are some of my favorite cookies. But really, I've only ever had like the original and maybe a couple others. I'm really curious to see if any of the other flavors are better. Yeah, so let's, let's, let's do, do, it. do it. Milk's favorite cookie, Oreo, Oreo original. original. Dude, nothing gets you more excited than a classic Oreo. Oreo. It's so good. In fact, scientists proved that Oreos trigger more pleasure sensors in your brain than crack. Which is amazing. I've never had crack, but <laughs> now I know I never have to because this is better than crack, probably cheaper than crack, and has less ill side effects than crack. Other than obesity. Other, Yeah, maybe. If you eat too much, which is True. very possible because they're it. so good. <laughs> so good. That chocolate and sugar. Mm -hmm. What would you say the cream is like? Let me try to get some of that. I don't know, man. Sugar? <laughs> I don't know. Dude, I don't know what the flavor of the cream is, but Oreo just nails it with the cream. Maybe like the that. cream is cracked. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what's weird about Oreo cookies. Like, a lot of cookies, you can't take apart and try mm -hmm. individual flavors, but this cookie, you can tear apart and just eat the chocolate or just eat the cream, which is unique. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. I'm going to dip it in some milk, because oh, milk makes it better. I have to grab another one because I ate all mine like a fatty. Oh, <laughs> you ate your entire... I mean, these are good. You gotta eat them all. So, I got um, another one. Dude, and since it's Milk's favorite cookie, you know it's gotta be good when dipped in milk. And it's true. I don't really dip any other cookies in milk. Oreos, I always dip in milk. Mm -hmm. And I don't eat Oreos without milk. I have to drink milk with them. It's just... They go together so well. Original Oreo is a definite win. win. Lemon. I'm excited for this because lemon flavored things usually are pretty good. Even though I don't really like lemons, I don't I don't eat lemons, which I don't think anyone eats lemons. But I hardly ever like squeeze lemon on stuff. Mm -hmm. Dude, <laughs> I love lemon. Like my favorite desserts are like lemon bars, like oh, lemon yeah. pie. Like those are like lemon is my favorite dessert like flavor. So so is this gonna be excited. better than every lemon dessert you've ever had? That's the question. It might be. Let's do it. Whoa. Hmm. I think the flavor is in the cream. Yeah. It tastes like... Uh, maybe... Let me check. Yep. I think this tastes like the gold Oreo. Mm -hmm. But the inside is where the lemon happens, man. With mm -hmm. lemon action. Oh, man. Look at that. Dude, this is actually really good. Dude, I'm digging the lemon frosting. Mm -hmm. I'm not digging the cookie. The cookie's kind of sad. I don't really have a problem with the cookie. I think it actually goes pretty well with it because it tastes almost like, kind of like a lemon bar, how it has the bread That's with it. That's true, it does. But the thing is, I don't really like the crust on a lemon bar. I just like the lemon bar. Mm -hmm. I think they did really well with the lemon though because like, especially with lemonade I've noticed is it'll either be really sweet lemon, which is okay. Like it still tastes like lemon or it'll be really sour lemon. But they nailed the lemon where it's like a little bit sweet, but then it kind of goes a little bitter at the end. And it's, it's really good. The lemon Oreo is, I would say, it's okay. I would say it's a win. I loved it. <laughs> Thins. Thins. Dude, these thin Oreos are so thin that we have these stacked over here for us to try. Look, and you can't even see it. <laughs> I, I almost asked you if you forgot to put two Oreos there because it looks like one Oreo when they're together. Look, that's like one Oreo. It's so thin. Dude, they're so tiny. Like, it's impressive. Yeah, it feels it's fancy. But it really even does. even the texture looks smushed. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's on purpose or if these ones are just smushed. It's kind of funny because when I saw these, at first I thought it was just, like, I legitly thought it was just two crackers and there was no cream in oh, it. Oh, really? But I'm impressed that they were able to fit three layers <laughs> into, like, <laughs> this, this little form tiny package. space. See, I think they've been watching, like, phones and computers and everyone wants things to be thinner. Like, I want, got a new, the new... Phone is center, the new computer is center, and the new Oreo is center. This is the Oreo of the future. It's very unique. Because the normal ones, it kind of crumbles in your mouth, more mm -hmm. like a graham cracker, where this one has like a nice snap. Like, snap. Kind of like when you're right. eating a wheat thin, how it kind of <laughs> just cracks, but it's 
it's unique, but it still tastes good. But the flavor like ratio is different as well because there's you must taste more of the filling. Mm -hmm. There's like a more cream to chip ratio, I guess. What what would you call it? Chip cracker cracker cookie? I don't know cookie. I'm not really digging it. It's yeah. okay. And it's it, not as good. It's okay with the milk. It's not the milk doesn't really bring it out that much. I would say it's 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 okay. I, yeah. I'm not gonna give it a fail or a win. Mega stuff. And now we have mega stuff. The opposite. Mega awesome, dude. What can, what can get better than a normal Oreo times than a mega three? Stuff. Yeah, like, times three. When he opened the package, we both went, whoa. <laughs> like seriously, look at that. It's oh my so word. much cream. The only bummer is you don't get very many cookies in the package because they're so big. That's true. Well, who cares? Buy this package for yourself <laughs> and eat them all. Whoa. <laughs> Wow. Why did I get... I got a drip on there. You definitely get more cream than chocolate, but you still get a good hunk of chocolate in there. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say the cream overpowers it at all. Mm -mm. And you can see there's so much, it's like spilling over the edges because it's like compacted now. You're like whistling. <laughs> spilling. I can't even do that. That's incredible. How'd you do that? Braces, man. Braces. <laughs> it's good in milk, but the milk kind of lessens the chocolate flavor and that makes a cream really overpowering which is good if you're someone who normally just takes oil apart and eats a cream mm -hmm. that cream is good i honestly didn't think it tasted a whole lot different though like that's true it didn't it, it wasn't tasted a huge pretty much the same as the original and the original is good and this was good so i'm, I'm gonna, gonna give it a win, win. Red, red velvet, velvet. i am super excited because i love red velvet cake these so, are red which I can barely see because I'm yeah, red and green color blind. Like maroon, it's I can awesome. see it a little bit. <laughs> my, my cookie fell apart as soon as I picked it up. <laughs> so did mine. It looks good. Dude, okay, and this one has cream cheese frosting, so it's more like a cake. Whoa. So, dude. Yo. It tastes like cake. Like a crunchy cake. That's really weird. I've never had crunchy cake. Huh. The more you have it, the more it tastes like cake. My word. How do they do this? This is magic. I want to eat the cookie itself. What in the world does that taste like? It's such a weird, a weird sensation because it does taste exactly like the cake, but it's like, it's crunchier. <laughs> yeah, especially the cream. That's what mm -hmm. really sells it. That tastes like... Yeah. At first, the cream I didn't cheese, like the so. cream, but the more I'm eating it, the more I'm liking the cream. I don't know what to say, because I'm not a huge fan of red velvet cake, but this is crazy interesting and pretty good. I gotta try it with milk before I give my answer, though. Come on, milk. You will tell us the truth. <laughs> no. You will tell us the truth. I mean, who gets cake and milk? That's true. That's that's very true. That's what it tastes like. Oh, man. It's I don't, pretty good, though. I'm gonna... It's interesting... For that, I'm gonna give it a win. I'm gonna give it a 45 degree angle. It's, We're giving a lot of like half. It's not like a half, but it's not a win. Like this is, I'd eat, I'd eat if it's there, but I don't know if I'd buy it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say the same. I'm sorry, I'm taking away my win. <laughs> chocolate, <laughs> dude, chocolate, and more chocolate. What's what, how can you chocolate? get wrong with that, dude? It smells like chocolate. It does. This is kind of like when you go and buy dilly bars. You can get like the ones that have like chocolate outside, vanilla inside, or you can get the chocolate outside and the chocolate inside. Of course you can get chocolate chocolate. This cream though, like, if you look at these other Oreos, there's like a gap like between the cracker mm -hmm. and this. This is like filled to the edges of chocolate, so it looks like it's just one like chunk. Filled to the brim! Of chocolate, like, it's awesome. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's good, but to me it kind of tastes like cheaper off-brand Oreos. Or just like a cheaper cookie. I don't I know what it that. is. I think there's just no punch in it. Mm -hmm. Where normally you got the cream and the cookie, and those are kind of working together, like two dimensions of flavor. Where this is just kind of one dimension. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's well, we're trying to go to 3D now. Not <laughs> we're not going from 2D to 1D, man. <laughs> Dude, so <laughs> I don't think it changes the flavor that much in milk. Like it kind of still just tastes like chocolate. It's just wet chocolate now. Yeah. So I'm. <clears throat> It's good. I th I don't think but it's, it's bad, not amazing. But I think I'm going to give it a fail just because it doesn't live up to my standards as like a cookie that I'd want. Like 
I agree. It's but it's chocolate and it's kind of good, so I have to give it a win. Okay. <laughs> Cinnamon, Cinnamon bun. bun. Cinnamon bun. Okay, we found in a these. cookie. And we had no idea these even existed, but we saw cinnamon bun and we got excited. What does it smell like? Cinnamon. It smells like, like, uh, isn't there like cinnamon cracker things or something? That's what it smells like. Yeah, like cinnamon graham crackers? Yeah, that's it. Cinnamon graham crackers. That's exactly it doesn't what it smell like. like pure cinnamon. It smells like cinnamon graham crackers. Whoa. I don't know, ma'am. I'm not digging it. Let's, let's test the outside of it. Whoa. I'm liking it. Really? Yeah, the cream is the same, but the cinnamon cookie, I, I think, think... the cream's a little different. Maybe. But yeah. I feel like the cinnamon cookie makes it a lot better than just like a normal golden cookie. Mm, that's true. Like, I'm not saying it's better than the original, like the original is still really good, but if I was going to get like a type of golden cookie, I'd probably get the cinnamon bun. It's really interesting, but I wouldn't say it tastes like a cinnamon bun. Mm -mm. It's definitely good though. It's interesting, I don't, I don't know if I'd say it was good. Mm -hmm. With milk it tastes like cereal. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to give it a win. Lose. As it'll lose. I mean, a fail. Win. Oreo chocolate candy bar. This last one isn't technically a cookie. Cookie, but, but we found it and it looked interesting. It's what like chocolate cookie. It's a chocolate. It's called a chocolate bar. It's it's, it's a chocolate bar. It's Oreo like, made like a cookie version of a candy bar, and these it comes. It's like a bar, but it, you break off the little bits, which I think is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Um. So let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Very milk chocolatey. Okay. So on the inside, there's like a little tiny. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I want to dip it in milk. <laughs> on the inside, there's these little tiny bits. I don't know if you can see that. Of like little Oreo, like the the crust of the Oreo, and. It mm -hmm. adds like a crunch to the inside of the bar with the chocolate outside and the cream inside. So it's like, it's a unique bar because it's not like a Kit Kat where there is stuff mm -hmm. on the inside, but it's just like little. It's like this actually has some like nice crunch. Now that you mention it, it does kind of taste like a Kit Kat. Really? There's definitely a, a lot of that milk. Or is that milk? just with milk? Maybe. But it's definitely got a lot of that milk chocolate kicking through. The milk didn't really do a difference to it. Um, it's good, but it's freaking sweet. Mm hmm Which, I couldn't, I mean, these little bites are good, but I could never finish a candy bar. That's probably why they put them in segments. You buy one, you share yeah, with all your all friends. Yeah, because I freaking could not. If you're really into sweet stuff, you're going to love it, but if you yeah. can't handle sweet, that is so powerful. It is really powerful. So, what are your good. favorites? Man? I would have to give that a win. Yeah. And then for my favorites, original always has to be a favorite. You oh, yeah. You can't beat original. Well, um, at least not yet. We haven't beat original yet. It's true, yet. There's still a possibility. I still... I, original's a win. The other ones were okay. I don't think I'm going to give up original or I, even... I can't decide. I feel like I should only give out one other win, but I can't decide between lemon and cinnamon bun. I really? think I'm going to have to go with lemon because it was a more unique flavor. Cinnamon bun was an interesting idea. I just don't think it was executed to its full extent that it could have been. I would have to say if I was going to give another win... Probably red velvet. Just, it was so interesting. I'm so glad that Oreo decided to do something different, and it looks cool. The package looks cool, and it's Valentine's Day is coming up, so maybe your girlfriend will like that. She'll think it's fancy. So be on the lookout. We're gonna do another video of us trying the rest of the Oreos, and come back next Monday when we review something new. And subscribe to keep up to date on all our latest content. We hope this review helped. Thanks, guys. Later. Later. I want what? all of them. <laughs> Milk. <laughs> we're going to do some alternate flavors. So what we're doing is we're taking two or more flavors and we're combining them to see what happens. So this first one I thought of is lemon and chocolate. So the double chocolate and lemon. Isaiah will be doing two separate cookies 
and I will be taking the cream and one cookie from putting each them one. together. Putting and that looks kind of cool. It I really have to does. admit that looks flavorful. I'm gonna do lemon side down, and you should do chocolate side down. So you know, hit your tongue first. Okay. Let's All right, do it. Do it. Oh, oh, like a Big Mac. <laughs> Mm. It's not bad. No. It's actually good with the chocolate because it, it balances out, I feel. The chocolate is so subtle. Mm-hmm. Ma'am. That's really good. That is actually pretty good. And it looks super sweet. Like, if they sold this, I would be so happy. <laughs> I would be so happy. Mmm. The milk didn't help me. Blech. That's, that's a, a win. Dude, that's a total win. Oreo. We just found your next flavor, man. So, I just wanted to do a little variant of that same thing. So, lemon inside, chocolate outside, because I think this is going to be a win. Let's do it. Mmm. It's a win. <laughs> that's good. That's real good. It's good milk, too. Mm-hmm. You gotta finish that. I did. All right, what's yours? <laughs> so I came up with the hypocritical Oreo for all us hypocrites out there. I took the two crackers from the thin Oreo and I put them with the mega stuff. Mega that Oreo, so awesome. you can both be unhealthy and super healthy at the same time. Let's do it. That's incredible. You're so smart. It's so good. I'm gonna try it too. <laughs> it's like only cream. Uh -huh. Just enough cookie for it to Pretty be to there, hold. but mm -hmm. really. <laughs> Look how cool that looks. I can't even taste the cookie part. It's just all cream. <laughs> it's pretty fun to do, though. <laughs> it's pretty great. I'm doing uh, the inside of the red velvet with the thins because I want to make a really elegant cookie. And I'm doing the inside of the red velvet with the yellow oak. And chocolate? And the chocolate. So oh, is, that, is that the cinnamon one or the lemon one? This is the lemon, but Ooh. it's the same as the golden Oreo. That's true. Because the outside doesn't change. So it's golden Oreo, normal Oreo, and inside cream cheese filling. It's like a mixture of flavor. That was a bad, bad combo. I wouldn't say this combo is good either. My body's about to overload on sugar. Mm -hmm. I'm shutting down. I'm shutting down. I haven't shut down yet, but I suspect <laughs> that pretty soon... <laughs> no, I'm back. <laughs> Look at this nasty pile of, like, abandoned Oreos. I've never Oreos. not wanted to eat so many Oreos in my life. That was good, but nasty at the same time because there's so much sugar. It's It's kind of like... Top Ramen. It's really good, but that when that's all you have to eat for like a straight <laughs> week, then you get tired of Top Ramen. 